Hello. So we are back. Let's fix our TV. Yeah. We didn't fix for a long time. So I opened the TV. It's a big TV. Uh, this one. You can see the TV here. It's on the on the table. So I'll go there. I will take the the power supply board out because we have a power supply issue. We check the fuse is burned, but obviously most of the time it's not a fuse. I will take the board out and we can uh, diagnose the board. Yeah. I will leave the microphone here because there is music. Okay, so this is a Samsung, Samsung TV. I'll tell you the model after. I don't know what model is. It's a nice board. If we check with the multimeter, multimeter, it is on diode mode. The fuse is gone. And you'll think it's only the fuse. It's never the fuse. Somewhere it's a short. Now, the schematics of this one is quite simple. The input part, I mean, yeah, you have 220, you have a fuse, you have a thermistor, you have these filters, and after that you have the rectifier bridge. So you can check on the rectifier bridge, on the rectifier bridge you have uh, AC, two pins on the middle, and DC, you have minus and plus. You can check on minus and plus to see if you have any short. Minus, plus, and it's zero, zero. So here is supposed supposed to be around 400 volts, and you have uh, the resistance is zero. So obviously, if you replace the fuse, you will get like a big bang, yeah. Now I don't know what is wrong here. I have no idea. So it can be the rectifier bridge, and the easy way to check if the rectifier bridge is, is short. Now, now with the power supply. It's hard because you have uh, the rectifier bridges on the heatsink. The th big uh, switching transistors are on heatsinks, and you will feel nothing, like no heat. So it's quite hard. It's quite hard to uh, use the power supply to find a short here. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Maybe if you have high high amps, like over five amps, you got like six, seven. Eight times, yeah, maybe. Yeah, but it's yeah, it's a nice board. Easy to be diagnosed. You can see the AC is coming here, 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 and after that, this is the new model of the power supply. So actually, you have a transformer. Will. Uh, who will keep the pa the the voltage the 400 volts it will be the same even if you connect the tv in 110 volts or 220 volts so this will work either so what i will do let's cut this pin of the rectifier bridge because it's easy instead of taking out the rectifier bridge so i cut down one pin the plus pin and we can check the rectifier bridge if it's short. And it's not. You can see it's not short. So actually the short is on the pin. So the rectifier bridge is fine. There's no problem here. Let's solder back the the pin.
Let's be sure it's soldered properly. Okay, the pin is fine. So what can be more? Depends what you have connected on the on this power uh, power rail. So we have we have to follow the plus. So we have a diode. Okay. So the plus that's the plus. And on the plus we have the diode. It cannot be a diode because it's direct short, so it's no point checking following the diode. Uh, you know what? Let's let's leave this. Yeah. Can be better, yeah. So it's no point following the do the diode track. What is here? Here is a transformer. It's just a coil or a transformer. Can be a transformer. So from here to here we have zero. Yes, we have zero. And after that we have this transistor, this MOSFET. Yeah, this can be shorted. This can be a reason why we have a short between plus and minus. Yeah. So what I will do, I will. Uh, uh, I will do nothing. Let's try with the uh, five amps. Let's see five amps. Maybe maybe it is got getting hot. Minus. Let's see minus. Minus is going okay. That's minus and that's plus. And here we have short. Well, I can't feel any heat on this MOSFET. No way. Like nothing is cold. You see, that's the problem. You can't really check. Let's disconnect this truck. Yeah, this truck. Let's disconnect this truck. Now this is going here. So what's here? Yeah, that's minus. Okay, let's disconnect this truck. Yeah? Let's just cut it down. Let's see what's going on there. So the truck is disconnected. Let's check now with the multimeter. Where do we have the short? On which side? Here? No, here is no short. You can see. On the other side, it's short. Yeah. And it's going straight here. So we have this. Uh, Bridge, we have a capacitor. No, I believe the MOSFET is gone. Or oh, can be the capacitor. Can be. I found so many. But I don't think so. I think it's the MOSFET. I think the MOSFET is shorted. Now, this will be a... Yeah, here we need like a proper uh, power for solder iron. Because even the heat sink is soldered on the board. Hmm? Yeah, it's nothing what we can do. We have to do it. TV are nice, you know, that the board is big, every component is big, you can see, you can follow the tracks, you know. Nice, I like the TVs. Okay, let's raise the temperature on this solar iron. Let's see what we can do. So 
So the heat sink is here and here. And I think she'll be enough. Because obviously the heat sink will suck the heat. That's the problem. Okay, we are safe. So the heat sink is out and we have the MOSFET there. So I want to remove that MOSFET. Let's see if we can remove this glue first. What about trying something more before desoldering the, the MOSFET? Huh? What do you think? Just to be safe, to be sure the MOSFET is gonna I'll cut the the middle pin and I will check to see if it's shorted. So I cut the middle pin, source and drain. What? Yeah, it is shorted. Yeah. Check on the on the on the multimeter. Zero zero. So it's gone. The our MOSFET is gone. Hundred percent. We have few TV boards here, so we can take the components from another board. Give me one second. Okay, so you have one more pin, the middle pin, yeah the MOSFET is out, what MOSFET do we have there? Hmm? My eyes. 13 N, no, yeah, N, M, 6, 0, N. It's just a random MOSFET. Okay, let's try to find another one. We have few boards here. Possible we have the same. What? We have the same board. Oh, don't tell me that. Yeah, we have the same board. And the MOSFET is gone. We use the MOSFET. So you can see it's the same board, but we use the MOSFET. I use even that one. <laughs> okay, that's not good. We need another one. Okay, let's see what atmosphere it's is doing. Thirteen and thirteen and thirteen and sixty 
channel LAN 600 volts. Nothing special. I think I have one second. Give me one second. I, f I have some MOSFETs here somewhere. Yes. Yes. Let's see what we have. So we have. I can't see. Let me check. And you have zero five and fifty. Zero five and fifty. How many amps is this one? Let's see. Eleven amps. So this one, it's a MOSFET, 11 amps, okay, so what do we have, we have, let's see what we have, and you have 0, 05, and 50. Okay, this is 500 volts and 4.7 amps. It, it's quite a big difference from 11 amps to 4.7. I'm sure it'll work, <coughs> but still. Let's try and find another one. We have here another board, another power supply. I don't know what power supply is this. And... Uh, Okay, let's see this one, yeah? K12A50D Yeah? K12A50D What's this? This seems to be fine this is better. Fifty five hundred volts, twelve amps. Huh? What do you think? This seems to be able to be okay. Where is the data? Well, let's see. Yeah, that's the one. Hmm? So the, what do you think about this one? Will it work? Yeah, it should work. Yeah, we are doing the same thing, yeah? And channel. Huh? 
500 volts is rated like 500 volts so should be higher yeah, I think it's fine you know it's it's okay should be fine if it's blowing we'll see it together yeah we can see some nice sparks there How is connected here? It is connected. It should be fine, it should be fine. Let's let's take the MOSFET, yeah? Let's get the MOSFET out. If it's not okay, it'll blow up and that's all. Nothing else will happen. So blow up the fuse and that's all. It should be fine. The specs are nearly the same like the other one. Well, are not all the same, but uh, yeah, you can match them. And compared with the transistor, the MOSFETs are even more complicated. This working with MOSFETs, even for myself, is like new because I come from. Uh, you know that age with germanium transistors you remember and valves tubes and thyristors Let's see. Let's put the screw. That's the one, yeah? Yeah. I think. No. That's the one. First, we are putting the screw, and after that, we can uh, solder the MOSFET. That's good. Let's solder back the heatsink first. Yeah, the heat sink is inside. 
the heatsink is solder. Let's solder the MOSFET. Hopefully it's good, I haven't checked. Here we need something because that pin is shorter. The pin is shorter. But I will use one pin from the old MOSFET. Yeah. Make a bridge. Okay. All good. All good. We are ready for test. Yeah. We need a fuse. We need a nice four amps fuse. Yeah, four amps. No, five amps. Sorry. A nice five amps fuse. <laughs> okay. You know, just for testing, yeah? Just for... <laughs> just just for testing. You know, I always replace the, the fears. <laughs> Let's check. That's a nice 5 amps fears. Maybe it'll blow up. Yeah, we'll switch on the other, uh, other camera. Whoa, one second, one second. We have to redo the, the truck. We have to redo that truck. Okay. And now the truck. Nice soldering the uh, Nice solder truck, yeah. Everything is fine, let's check. Let me switch. I will come back.
Let's watch. Let's watch. I left my my colleague to plug it in. You know the Christian. So he will plug the TV, and if he will blow up, it didn't. <laughs> Let me go there and see. It's working. We have picture. That's crazy. Give me one second. Okay. Mm -hmm. So check that. You can see the picture on the screen. So the TV is working fine. <laughs> okay, let me see what model is. But I will check. I will put the, the model on the on the description. Anyway, yeah, but you you know how it is with the power supply. Bad things can happen. Like uh, you don't. Uh, it's not necessary to be. A problem with the MOSFET itself, yeah. You have, I don't know, you have a problem with the with the driver of the MOSFET, and it's outputting. You know, you don't know if it's out. Maybe you know if you check with the oscilloscope. Maybe you know if it's outputting the right uh, wave shape or not. But many times it will happen like you have a good MOSFET and it's still blowing up the fuse because you have a different issue. Anyway, this is a happy case, and actually the replacement MOSFET was good. But uh, yeah, yeah, bad things can happen. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, and see you on the next one. Yeah, bye.